Hello everyone and welcome back to another Ramen Ranch video. It's great seeing you all again as we haven't really been made any actual videos in quite a while and it's nice to be back making videos and Ramen Ranch Season 2 is just around the corner which is also very exciting. But in this video, this is going to be a three video series talking about Starlink. Now we've had SpaceX Starlink for probably about a month and a half now and throughout the entire time we've had it we've had great speeds and sometimes we've had some pretty much issues. But overall it's a lot better than our last internet connection which has just been using our phones. Hotspot. And it's really been an upgrade for all of us as we've been able to upload videos through the internet without having to worry about using up all the data. I've been able to join my online school sessions as well as a lot of other things that my parents need to do as like shopping on Amazon. All that stuff was harder to do using our phone's hotspot but it's all been improved with Starlink. Now over this three video series it is we're going to talk about many different things that we've had with Starlink. The video that is going to be this video here is going to be the setup process and our first impressions on Starlink. The second video is going to be pretty much the amount of time we were using it, and the third one is going to be about all the problems that we have had so far. And in the month and a half we've had it, it has been quite nice, but there have been problems, like I said earlier. And I know that they, they are in their better than nothing beta. This isn't what Starlink is always going to be. This is what it is right now in beta. So don't expect Starlink to be amazing if you guys have it right now, as of right now, because of it being in beta. But without further ado, let's get into the video. So when we first got Starlink, it was really exciting. It was quite. A, it was about well at this point in time, it was a few months ago when we ordered it, and it took about four weeks to get here. Now they they did have a lot of orders at the time, and I can see why it might have taken quite a while. But when it came in, I guess I was so excited. Um, and I do have an unboxing video which I'm going to share with you now. All right, everybody, the Starlink box just got here from FedEx. And this is quite the big box, like this is huge. So I guess it's time for us to open it up. <laughs> Turn it around so you guys can see it too. There's the instruction manual. The thing is, that's a big instruction manual. Download the app. Put it outside. Plug it in. Find it in your phone. Ready? Oh, looks like it must be under this. Wow, that is awesome. Our brand new Starling kit. I don't know at that point in time. Ethan, if you had explained that there's no e internet out here, this is going to help us quite a bit um, and deliver us a really fast speed. So, looks so like this here. So this here is the router. Um, pretty nice router, actually. It's hefty. Um, and that's what we're gonna use to plug it into our home network system. Yeah, it's like, I wanna see how the camera's doing it. Yeah, it's big. Um, the actual satellite itself. Here's the POE box. That's what you plug into the wall, which powers everything. And I guess they were right. Everything was indeed plugged right inside of the box. Got your information there. To be honest, this thing should be straightforward. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna wait till dad gets home. Um, he's at work right now, but mom is here with us. So we're gonna wait till he gets home. He's gonna help us put this on the roof. And when this is on the roof, we'll finally get those speed tests, show you guys how it does. Um, yeah. 
Alright, so when we first got the package, after we got it all, all unboxed, it took, we had to wait for the, around that afternoon, actually we had to set it up the next day, as we needed a bit of time to set it up. And it took about two hours to get it where we wanted to position it. Now we ended up putting it on the top of our roof, and we ran the cable down the roof. Now, that was better, and... It had a nice clear view of the sky, at least we thought it did. Looking at the obstruction map, it looked okay. And, well, when we first turned it on, we had super fast speeds. One of our first speeds was like 97 megabits per second. And, I mean, that may not seem fast to some of you guys that may live in the city, but to us, that is super fast compared to our phones, which only gave us about maybe 5 to 10 to even up to 30 on a good day and it was just amazing and that was just the download speed when we started to run our upload speed test which is what you need to upload YouTube videos or upload photos to Facebook, Twitter, whatever you're using like that upload it comes in very handy for the modern people that are uploading more stuff than we used to and upload speed was also very good being around 10 to 20 megabits per second and that was amazing now, over the first night we were using Starlink Charter, we hadn't yet hooked up our entire home network yet. But during the time that we did have using Starlink Charter, it was great, except for the one problem is its reach isn't so good. Um, when setting it up, I'll show that clip in just a bit. When setting it up, we had some problems with the reach. It didn't reach all the way upstairs into our living room because we did have to put it in our basement as that's where the cable came in. But once we got our home network all set up, it was working great. But here is the clip of us setting it up. All right, everybody. So we have the Starlink um, satellite up on the roof. We have the power supply all plugged in, and we have the little um, really futuristic-looking um, Starlink router right here. Now it is plugged into power and it is blinking. We are just waiting for it to show up in the Wi-Fi settings on here. That's my dad's phone. That's our current Wi-Fi network for our home mess. And we're just waiting for... Now it's going to say here, enter Wi-Fi name, which we call our Starlink router. Whatever you want. Um, let's just call it... Ryman Link? Ryman... Or Ryman Starlink? Link. I think I like Ryman Link. And password. Alright, so once we had everything set up, we basically connected a ton of the devices in our home. We connected our phones, we connected our smart TV, we connected all our laptops, I connected my computer, and it was working quite fast. We were able to stream a movie on um, that night, which we have never been able to do. Um, we've always had to go and rent it or buy a movie where we have tons of DVDs and Blu-rays which we've been doing as we can't really stream an entire 4K movie. It takes up quite a bit of data and that's why it was nice to have Starlink with their unlimited data and throughout that time we didn't have too many problems and it was really really fast. I mean we had almost no buffering and for the first few days I was my phone actually did an iCloud backup like I have never had my phone ever do an iCloud backup. I've always had to back it up to my computer as well, you, Apple only allows you to do iCloud backups over Wi-Fi, which I think they should allow you to choose that if you're going to go over cellular. But for the most part, it did quite well, and that's not where we stopped. We finally had a chance to get up security cameras so we can watch over our home while we're gone, and within a few weeks of having Starlink, we had those also set up, and it was working amazing. And I have to say, the entire setup that we've had with Starlink was basically game changing for all of us. We were able to monitor our home while we were gone, we were able to upload YouTube videos right from here instead of having to go into town to a store or a library like we had been doing before and everything was just like a step ahead. We were part of the rest of the world with people that always had internet and it was just amazing seeing the speeds that we were getting. We had so many speed tests all the way down from 20 megabits per second all the way up to 400 megabits per second download with upload speeds from 5 up to 50 megabits per second. It was so fast compared to our using our phones that I, when the page like instantly loaded, I was still waiting for it, but it was already done. And that's just to show how much of an upgrade it was from our old service. Now, when it came to YouTube videos, we I've always had to compress our YouTube videos when I do upload them, as otherwise we're going to be sitting wherever in town 
to quite a while and that's why they haven't always looked great but this video you will notice will be quite a bit better it's not going to need to be compressed as much as normal from the exporting process which is going to make them look a lot better and sound a lot better and overall make our videos look better and that was a nice thing about having Starlink as it's going to make all these changes actually real. If you know other YouTubers with maybe a thousand subscribers, million subscribers, their videos look quite good and to be honest it's not that hard to make those videos and we want to bring those videos to you. And to do that we have upgraded not only our internet now but many more things and that's all coming in Rhyme and Rhyme Season 2. But for the most part, I think this is where I'm going to wrap up the first video here about Rhyme and Ranch Starlink. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, thank you all for watching. Have a great rest of your day, and goodbye.